Oh, this is a crucial moment for the Bitcoin. And today's episode, let's break down what is happening to the Bitcoin. We came to the really very, very important area. And in today's episode, let's break down what is the best decisions to do right now. So today we're going to talk about specific sharp targets without like uh, long or short or something like that. I'm going to give you the uh, sharpest numbers, clear numbers, where the most likely Bitcoin going to go from where it's going to do reversal and all other things. So this is going to be very, very interesting. So stay tuned. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, press that like, leave some comments and we are going to the charts right now and let's talk about Bitcoin. So basically what we were talking about in previous videos, we were talking about that we are in this channel. So basically let me break down it first by Elliot's waves that the, uh, the guys who's looking at this video for first time, look at that. Here's the wave one, two, three, four, and five. So basically our idea right now is that we don't know, are we still in the wave four, in this wave four, right? Or uh, we are just a breaking out and going higher and we are in this, uh, we are trying to get this fifth wave. So basically how to identify this is like a beginning of this impulse or not, right? Basically there's no like obvious and um, sharp saying that there's like, oh, we are in a wave five or we are in a wave four. So this is why the fourth and fifth waves are very, very uh, manipulative and very, very dangerous and you need to care uh, carefully to trade, right? So this is why we opened actually second position. So uh, our old community knows about that. I opened previously here some longs, right? We took some profits. We exited the trade uh, after we moved the stop loss at the entry point. So we went even lower here. We was calling about, uh, we were calling that the Bitcoin most likely going to go lower. So it happened exactly. And after again, as we will, uh, we retested this area, we went much more higher again right so basically why we opened here and why we opened here so if we're gonna take a Fibonacci right now and put it at the beginning of the wave 3 and end of the wave 3 we know the targets are from 0.3 to 0.6 this is the area where the most likely Bitcoin comes and the more specific numbers are usually 0.5 to 0.6 so basically this is the targets like a 55 to 52 thousand dollar this is the area where the most likely Bitcoin's price comes and from there we are seeing some kind of reaction as you can see this um this box which one i marked here we bounced twice and we earned some money right now right so we are still in the profits i still hold some longs we took already twice profits right we took some profits here we took some profits here as well right and the third i'm just holding it in case we are going like uh, to the moon right so basically we are in the profit i moved the stop loss at the entry point so this is why this is the very important area this is very important area so this is why we're always opening some kind of the positions in, in this box. And we are very, very mindful and carefully watching the charts here. So what is actually happening? So we are expecting this fifth wave, right? So, uh, from which targets that wave uh, can start? This is the 0 0.5, 0 0.6. So actually we retested uh, after we saw this impulse. But remember, that's, that's a, not a panacea. This doesn't matter. It doesn't mean that uh, for sure that uh, this is going to be wave 5. We again can retest this area, like this area once again, right? So this is why we're expecting some kind of move, move lower, right? So if it's going to happen, it's fine. Just be ready for this movement that anytime we can come back to this trading channel again right Not the trading channel the target zone i would say right so for um so for now we don't know are we still there or not so uh, one of the important questions which one you might have right now what is the best decisions to do from locally if you are the trader if you are day trading or whatever you are doing right the best decisions right now is to short the market right and that's the that's the fact why because you can see that once we retest this area, we saw some kind of reaction. Boom. Once again, we test, uh, the, the, we touched the lower range of that channel. We went higher. Here, um, again, we retest the higher range after we saw massive sell off. After here again, bounce. And again, we came to this area. So right now we have a all more rights to treat that from this area is the really good time to short the market, right? Even I'm in the longs. Do you understand? I'm still holding the longs. And for me, it's actually much 
much more convenient if the price is gonna go like 100k or more, right? But still, I'm not ignoring the chart. Like the chart, what is telling me, that's I'm saying for you, right? So this is why I, I don't wanna you get mad about it that I'm saying that the price is gonna go lower or higher. Just look at this uh, analysis just to overview it, right? I'm just giving you the solid analysis and what is the actually the best decisions to do from the current, current, uh, current standpoint or different variations of the market stages, right? So basically, right now we are seeing that we came to the higher range and here is the really good time to open some shorts and expect at least if I would open here some uh, shorts, but I'm not doing so right now. I, I, I'm waiting for a little bit higher prices, right? If you want to open the shorts from here, uh, I would suggest you to put the stop loss at forty, uh, the $74,000 at the all time high, right? So basically, Basically, that's gonna be your um, win loss ratio. So basically, if right now you short, your stop loss might be over here, right? And your take profit, last take profit, will be somewhere over here. So basically, this is really great time to short the market, and and that's that's the really worth too, right? So basically, if I'm gonna short here, I'm gonna let you know that in my Telegram channel. So join it, the the, the link in the description below. Here I'm sharing a lot of great variations of the analysis for for the like. A Long term, short term, I'm giving you clear signals if I'm longing or shorting the market, right? Stop losses, targets, and everything is here, right? So if I'm gonna open the short positions, right? For sure, I'm gonna let you know over there. So basically, stay tuned, watch this, uh, I mean, watch this video till the end, of course, and uh, leave the leave the comment, right? That's really important. It motivates me to create for you crazy contents because it's uh, it's spreading this video in my, for more and more people. So yes, right now is um, the, the market looks really very interesting. One more thing what I want to mention, right? Uh, as I was uh, as I was talking about in previous videos that this channel here, it's $70,000 is gonna be 71, $70,000 is really great time to short. And what you can see, as we retest the $70,000, like we just take it, right? From there, we saw some massive reaction. So on smaller time frame, you can see some really big red candles. And the daily time frame creates for us beautiful bearish uh, candle. That's a extreme candle 3.3, three, MFI squatting. I don't know, it, it, it will close in nine hours, right? If it's gonna close and the body of this candle gonna be at the bottom, there's gonna be one more pretty good solid uh, confirmation for short. So if we're going to form from this area, like something such kind of, right? And we're going to retest it here. I'm going to most likely going to open some short positions. And usually it happens like this. We have some reaction after bounce, after we again retest this, uh, um, retest this uh, very strong resistance. And not only after that, most likely we are going fall or we are going to break, right? So, but in right now, right now the case looks really very bearish because this is already the reaction. We saw that $70,000 touched right and after that we saw that massive reaction and if you open the five hour time frame you can see we are still uh, let me give you give me, give me a second look at it we are still in massive this red candle and you can see that uh, the volumes also joined that so this is the pretty big impulse and I knew that from this area most likely gonna be massive volumes joins uh, to short the market from this area and a lot of people gonna sell in this target so this is why I was calling that the shorts here was really really good and we are still if you're gonna range and you're gonna take a zoom in out a little bit, you can see clearly that we are still in the higher range. Look at this. This is higher range of this channel. This is lower range from this channel. So from here, you want to short. I mark it as a red one, right? And from lower range, you want to long it. And use it. you can see here that right now we just begin it, right? So uh, uh, basically, yeah, this is really great time to short it. For the targets, for the people who wants to uh, clear the targets, what what is the really great targets? Uh, if you open the short position, you put the stop loss somewhere at seventy four thousand dollar. First stop loss might be a, around the middle. So if we're gonna make this channel and do something such kind of right in the middle, so I would close it somewhere at sixty one, sixty thousand dollars. Somewhere here, I would take first profits, right? So always DCA like first join DCA, right? When you are opening some short, you can step 
step by step open to your shorts and of course uh, slowly take your profits you don't need to hurry up so if you're gonna see some uh, some profits from there right just hold it and keep it right just uh, position yourself correctly that you can join the shorts you are already in a profits set your stop loss at entry point and everything gonna be fine with you in the long term perspective of course do the proper risk management and especially in my telegram channel I gave the clearest and one of the best I would say risk management strategy uh, in the trading so join our telegram channel and here you can see it's uh, it's just today I was posting and um, there's like two posts about the how to manage your risks properly when you are trading right do not forget and do it for sure join our telegram channel the link in the description below so basically yes if you're gonna take some profits at the middle somewhere over here first targets right move your stop losses at the entry point that want to be really, really, really great. And if you're gonna long, uh, if you're gonna short from here, right, and your stop loss hits, it's fine. This is the trading. You are just playing with probabilities. And right now, look at this. This is a fact. The, your probability is telling you that once we retest, uh, we we had some reaction one, twice, uh, the third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time, right? And so basically, we are trading in this channel, and no one knows how long it takes. You can bounce here like four a year really i'm not kidding so this is why do not bet for the breakout this is not a really great idea to do so right plus what i want to mention uh by indicators and what we are seeing if we are open the macd and rsi we can see the there's divergence so basically you can see the prices increases right and macd is showing divergence right and uh, rsi as well oh that moved me let me move it here so rsi as well you can see the clear uh yeah. Let's do like that. So clear divergence, right? The, the 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 prices increases, and those indicators are showing us that there is the bearish divergence. That's a great signal as well. Indicators also calling us for shorts. Plus, we are seeing a massive reaction from the $70,000. So if we're not going to break it straightly from here, most likely we are going lower. So this is like this is what I, I'm going to trade if the price once again we retest the higher ranges. Because basically, I know that a lot of you are going to have a question why I'm not opening the short from this standpoint. First of all, because I have a different strategy. I'm in different position right now. So this is the trading, you know, I'm still in longs. My management um, is completely, uh, can be different from you, right? So this is why I'm just giving you analysis. I'm not forcing you, I'm not telling you what you have to do. Uh, just idea of this channel, giving you the clearest and beautiful analysis, right? So this is what I'm do doing for you. And what I personally do, I share in my Telegram channel and you can join it and look at there what I'm actually doing uh, at the market. When I'm shorting, where I put the stop losses, where I take the profits and all other things, right? So my uh, my trading um, uh, positions might be completely different with you, right? Even when we are using the same strategy. So you must to understand that. You should to accept that. So this is what I'm thinking about the market right now. This is very, very key moment for the Bitcoin. And from this area, anytime we can go lower or, um, or we're going to break it, right? Everything can happen on the market. And basically, we also can straightly go from here and break it like 74,000, like there is no tomorrow. But indicators and plus what we currently see that we are in the higher range, then uh, we're just calling for the shorts and this is going to be much more proper things to do. So never short, the no, never uh, long the higher range and never short the higher range. Like this is uh, just right in your note and remember that, do not do such kind of things. If you are the first one to my channel, uh, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe to the channel, press that like if you like it, leave a comment, ask the question. Most of my community knows that I answer all of these questions for free. Any question is fine. There's no stupid question in trading i'm repeating it a thousand times and just ask it and of course join our telegram channel and for all of these people who are already subscribed to my channel thank you so much it motivates me a lot to create for you crazy cool content and see you the next and bye bye